So you're not ambitious? I'm not ambitious at all. Have you ever been ambitious? No. No? Just not your thing? Not my thing. Yeah. That's why I wondered why you wanted to bother with me. Because it's nice to talk to people mm. who have different thoughts about it. Mm. So you've, you've, how have, when you think back, back to when you were younger, you didn't have, you didn't have dreams or ideas of what you wanted to do. You just kind of went along with stuff. I had no ideas at all. Okay. And this can go right through till I was twenty. I changed when I went to university. A massive change, and I married a ferry. When she finished university, I wanted to start afresh from the things that went before, and so I was offered a job in New Zealand. Well, at least I saw a little ad in a newspaper for someone wanting my qualifications in New Zealand, so it was an adventure. We went uh, together. As a, as a expecting to spend a couple of years maybe, but it didn't quite work out like that. So how many years have you been here? I came here when in 1965. So it's been a while. I've been on here a long time. Yeah. yeah. Believe it or not, I'm a happy, contented person. Yeah. yeah. And um, I'm not outgoing. Yeah. I'm happy and contented within myself, and I. Um, I'm nearly 79. I'm not quite faced up to the idea that I'm going to die soon. <laughs> just, just, just too much for me. Yeah. You know? um, as long as I can get, carry on being happy and contented. That is my ambition, if you want to know. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've had an orchard. I've been in prison uh, for what, I was in England. This is back in England. Yeah. I became an extreme radical. Yeah. Uh, and that's what that's what basically changed, you know, mm. changed. I took an interest in politics, but it was mainly the anti-nuclear. Mm. Thing, mm. Back in the sixties. Is that what ended you in prison, or? Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, through demonstrations, extreme de extreme demonstrations. <laughs> And when you came, he came to New Zealand at the end of this, and there was just no point in it anymore. Then you moved away. What what led you away from Motueka? You. Um, I'm not really. No, honestly, I'm not sure. We told ourselves it was because we wanted to give the kids a better education, right? A bit in a bigger town. Yeah. But I'm not too sure that was the real reason. I don't want. I never really discovered what the real reason was because I wouldn't have believed in the concept of a better education in a, in a bigger town. Right. I seem to fit better in the smaller yeah, yeah. sort of surroundings. You know? yeah. 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 And so when you moved to Kaitaia and that's when you did your orcharding here? Yeah. 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 Not that I expected to. It just I mean, kind of happened. I've been working for the government for agriculture, for agriculture and fisheries. And I was managing a research farm, I uh, was the farm manager on it. And they went through their huge stuff, and closed the farm down, gave me a hand out of cash. Yeah. And so we came up, Pauline had already started coming up here on her work, and I had come up with us once or twice, and we just finished it by an orchard. Mm. I don't think it was ever a conscious decision. It really. just kind of happened. Yeah, it just happened, yeah. It's interesting to me that some people end up in places where they're doing really cool things, but yeah. they, there's no there's no kind of grasping or striving for it. It just sort of happens. Mm, just, just, just sort of happens, yeah. 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 I had a, an odd thing that happened to me while I was I'd, I'd got a degree and all the papers thing, thing, you know, I was qualified working in Manchester, and I was crossing the road one day. Maybe I just got the job and I had all my qualifications, paper qualifications with me, and I hit a motor wake, <laughs> a rainstorm, crossing a main road in Manchester, and they all blew away. And I lost everything that I did, mm. the education system, and, and the fact I, I did realise then it just didn't, you know, the paper things just did not matter.